All right, y'all. Here's the thing. I've been all the clowns before. Been a carnival clown, been a birthday clown, and I've been a haunt clown. A little scary clown. I was raised in that. I know all the secrets. I know every little tip and trick that there is. And I've made a video like this before, but I forget what I said. And I just figured it's time for a new and improved video. Also, I might repeat some stuff because I kind of wrote this all down in some kind of weird manic episode, but that's all right. So my first little tip or trick or whatever you want to call it is get a character and know that character. Really think about that character because you know what? Everything's a lot easier if it ain't even you. It's just somebody else. You ain't got to worry about that person looking stupid or getting embarrassed. And also, it's just a lot more fun to be somebody else for a good old night or two or a whole week. Who knows? Just really get a good feeling for your little character. Know who that person is. Another one is if you a shy kid, you can still go. You can still volunteer or get hired or whatever. You can just act as the distraction. And distractions are great. Everybody loves a distraction. I've been a distraction a bunch of times. Why? Because I'm real colorful, real bright, and I just like to be in the spotlight. I want everyone to see me. I ain't gonna hide behind no dang wall. But when you're the distraction, you gotta actually be a distraction. You ain't gotta talk to nobody. But when they see you, you can be colorful and bright and whatever. You don't gotta say nothing. You can be dancing around or doing something stupid. Who knows? But they think that you're going to be the one running after them. You're going to be the one getting them. But what they don't know is as they walk past you all suspicious like, there's somebody right on the other side. But you got to be the best dang old distraction you've ever been in your whole life. I'm going to also let you know a little secret. You should really target the dad or whoever's in charge of the group. You target that person. Because if you get that person the whole group falls apart because their whole structure just crumbled. That person's running. They don't know what to do. And that's real fun. Especially if you a chaser. If you gonna chase after them, that's the best. Chase everybody. That should be another point, I think. You chase the good ones. You chase the bad ones. Another little good thing to learn is your... Not only your surroundings, but your little co-workers. A lot of times you in an area with somebody else. And if you can get a good groove on what they're doing and play off of that, perfect. Perfect. All right? The best. Even if you got to watch them a couple rounds, let a couple groups go through. You figure out what they're doing and you start playing off of that. That's the double whammy. You got them. Now, I've done a lot of distraction work. I've, you know, I'm always out in the open. Come on. Look at me. Uh, a lot of times, I'll be out in the open, whoever I'm with, they're hidden behind something, they're blah, 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 who knows, stay somewhere. I'll even tell them. I'll say, hey, watch out for her, but they don't know who her is. And they'd be like, who, 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 who's her? They don't know where she's coming from, all right? But they see me yelling at them, and they know. They know something, something's gonna happen. They, they a little spooked already. They on edge now. Another really good one, this one doesn't really got to do with like being scary or nothing, but it really helps because a lot of times uh, in haunts that I've worked at, we have volunteers and they don't really know what to do. I mean, there's obviously a meeting and everyone goes over the rules and blah, blah, blah. But something that doesn't really get talked about a lot is you really got to just like bark directions at people because... They don't know where they're going. And even if you think, you know, the path is lit up, there is arrows going in there, they don't know. They're in a weird mind place. So you don't even have to yell scary stuff at them. You can yell crazy words at them, but a really good one to yell is what way to go, what direction you need to move in. Because they're a little dumb. Okay? They ain't dumb. They ain't dumb. They just scared, I guess. I don't know. Spark your directions. Be loud with it. If you can't think of nothing fun to say, you don't, you know, whatever. You don't got a little set list of scary things. Just yell at them where to go. Tell them where to go. Let's say that way. 
something. And I actually asked a couple other people uh, some stuff that maybe they had to say. You know, people that I was working with anyway. And one of them I got is the best one. It's great. All right? And that's just utilize your size. If you a little tiny person, you need to be hiding in all them cracks and crevices. You need to be down low. Because they also never expect you to come from down low. I don't know why. Because it's a pretty common thing to do. And if you a big tall guy or lady, you need to use that too. You need to be big and intimidating, even if you were the nicest, nicest person in the world. It's time to be big. All right? Now, I kind of talked about this a little bit, but it still should kind of be its own thing. And that's just like work with the environment. Nah, I told you to work with your coworkers. I told you to utilize you <sighs> utilize your size. And I'm gonna add on top of that that you should work with the environment. You are a character in this setting, and you gotta sell that. This is your your stage, all right? You use whatever's around. If there's dead babies on the wall or whatever, I don't know. You point them out. Who we'll say dinner's ready? You know. Anything. You got a whole bunch of stuff around you that you can use. Use the shadows, use the lights, use the sounds, use the props, use everything. That's your whole playground for the whole night. Also, I know I said earlier that they never expect it to come from below, but also behind is really good. And if you didn't get them the first time, I promise you, if you run up behind them and then you get them, you yell something at them, or you just hanging out back there, they're going to be creeped out. People don't like that. And for some reason, I don't know why, because it's so common, but nobody ever expects people to be behind them or below them, sometimes above them, in a haunted house. They always just trying to peep what's in front of them. Another good thing to do with that is to wait. Just wait until it's almost a moment too late. Just one little moment before you're about to lose the scare and that's when you get them. Because they seen you or they passed whatever distraction and they think they're safe now. But what they don't know is your time is about to shine. You about to get them. That's the best time. Just one little moment before it's too late. And that's when you get them. Now, some little bonus content, because I'm already done already. But I got a little pet peeve. And I don't I don't know why. It's probably just because I'm old and grumpy now. It's just I'm rickety. I'm done with it all. But there's a sound that a lot of teenage boys or like young adult men make and for some reason everyone hypes them up on it and go yeah man that's a really creepy sound you should do that all the time and it's just that like throat noise that like (laughs) i ain't scared about a ghoul going through puberty i hate that sound i don't think it's creepy and i don't think that it's gonna get nobody and i know your mom is sitting in the kitchen like yeah brandon yeah that's a really creepy sound good for you but you know what all these kids do it all them teenage boys and them young adults they all do it and i hate it it gets under my skin and i shouldn't be discouraging nobody from doing what they want or acting how they want to haunt but i hate that one it's a pet peeve i really just don't like it also another thing is if you a little five foot nothing girl you gotta be ready for like men to be very mad at you when you get them because if you scare some big tough strong man and you're a tiny little girl in pigtails they are not gonna be happy same for if you a little a little sweet they don't like that either trust me i know that's it hope it helps y'all have a good halloween and also y'all need to start subscribing or something because I'm dying out here. It's rough. Bye!